Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to the channel, man. I really appreciate everybody taking a little bit of time out of their day to watch the video. I know that you guys are tight on time like I am, and so taking five or ten minutes out of your day to watch my videos, I really appreciate that. And just wanted to welcome the 98% of the viewers out there, the subscribers that really like what I'm doing, and welcome back the other 2% that, uh, that can't stand what I'm doing, obviously, and send me a bunch of uh, nasty comments and... Uh, and all that stuff that goes along with it, you guys are welcome too. And uh, just thanks for everybody tuning in here. So anyway, today I'm going to continue a little bit on my uh, beginner series. Um, seems like it's going over pretty well. I guess there's more anglers out there that are just getting started out than, I'm, than what I realized because I'm getting some really good feedback from the beginner series. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys the three most important elements that you need to learn, that you need to master, or you need to understand right off the bat when you're starting bass fishing, the three most important things you need to learn first and foremost that will help you set a foundation for what you're doing. And um, I'm gonna go through all three of them and I'll sort of explain to you why that is. So the first one I wanna talk about is, is casting ability. Guys, the first thing that you can do that you have control of, this is a control variable that everybody can do, everybody has time to practice at it, is get, get, get good with your casting. Because once you become a good caster with a spinning rod and a bait caster or a flipping stick or whatever like that, it doesn't even matter if you don't know anything about fishing. You can go out and if you're a good caster, you're going to be able to catch bass. But I think this is one of the biggest overlooked things out there because when you or bass fishing, unless you're fishing out off the bank, a lot of stuff in bass fishing is target oriented. It's around boat docks, it's around covers, casting down banks, all that type of stuff. And if you can get good and efficient at casting, it's going to immediately accelerate your uh, success on the water with very little effort. And it's something that doesn't require learning as far as these big long time frames that it takes to learn about this knowledge. So, you know, you can just get out in your yard or get out in the lake and just spend some time casting. Learn to cast underhanded, learn to cast sidearm, learn to cast two-handed, learn to cast a spinning rod, learn to skip. I mean, there's always something you can do that's going to really improve your success. That's, that's one of the most important things you can do. The next thing you want to learn is you need to have a basic understanding and a basic grasp of lure categories, what each lures are designed to do because lures come in different categories. You know, you got crankbaits, you got jigs, you got soft plastics, you got swim baits, spinner baits, top waters. There's different categories of lures. And if you get an understanding as far as when each one of these categories excel in certain times of the year under certain conditions, that gets you a long way into uh, having the right bait on when you do get out on the water. And that's one of the biggest uh, it's, it's one of the biggest elements for a beginning angler is simply you've got to be throwing the right thing at the right time out there. So do a little bit of study, uh, Google, look up YouTube videos on seasonal patterns and, and different lure categories and try to absorb as much information as you can with that. Thirdly, real quick, and these are the top three things that a lot of people don't realize, and the third is understand the relationship of water temperature to bass behavior and bass movement. because. Guys, there's two elements in fishing that are so important, uh, are water temperature and water level, actually three, and water clarity. I don't want to get into those right now, but I just want to talk a little bit about water temperature. If you know what the water temperature is in the lake that you're fishing or the river, that gives you a very good idea as far as not only where you want to fish, but it gives you an idea which lure category you want to fish because there are certain lure categories that excel in certain water temperature ranges. So again, that's, there's a lot of information out there that's easily accessible to, you know, finding out what works good under certain water temperatures. And that's the thing, that's, that's the thing that's really going to help you out right off the bat. So just to reiterate real quick, guys, for beginners, just getting started, get your casting skills up there. That's something everybody can do. You know, try to understand uh, the basic uh, mechanism and the basic uh, uses for different lure categories and do some research on how water temperature affects bass. Once you get those three in your mind, that gives you a real good foundation to build upon to get into the vast, 
the universe of bass fishing variables that are controlled and uncontrolled that are out there. It's a it's a lifetime of learning. You're never going to learn it all. N nobody ever does. So this, if you're just getting started out in bass fishing, it's a journey that you're never going to complete. You're always going to be a student of the sport. I'm still a student. Everybody else that has been fishing as long as I have is still a student. But those three things right there are going to give you a good foundation to build upon. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope it helps out. And we'll be back with a bunch of more tips uh, later on. If I hadn't hit that subscribe button, please do so. It'd be much appreciated. Like the video, and we'll see you all tomorrow.